Hi everyone, welcome back to Grandpa Mark's Hobbies and a quick, quick build update of the 32 5 window coupe. This is where I left you the last time with just the body done and painted and everything. And I showed you the, uh, let me move it. I showed you the uh, doors. Well, I volatile penned the doors and uh, did a quick panel line with some Gundam gray panel liner. Let me show you what that. The Gundam marker, super duper fine tip on it. Just laid it in and followed the lines. That way it doesn't spread all over the place because I I painted that, but I it's not a gloss coat, let's say. And I knew if I would have hit that with the uh, Tamiya panel liner, it would have just spread out everywhere. And that's why I used the Maltile pen or the Maltile pen. Well, I did on that on the uh, on the door, the latches and the window crank. But then the Gundam marker does a really good job of just giving you a subtle. Subtle panel line. I like it. Next thing I did was decided that I'm going to try freehanding the gauges. I know it gave you gauges, but I tried to freehand them. And for the first time, I got gauges that look like <laughs> gauges freehand. So I am going to use that dash. I was going to use the, the uh, more modern dash. But then I made the gauges right. So I'm going to use this dash. And then I did and did the uh, that dark gray on the rims. They still need a little touching up work. You can see a little shining through. But I did the rims with dark gray centers. I thought those looked really cool. And then I did the backs, the dark gray also. Didn't do these. I am going to do these just in case they do shine through a little bit. But I will leave room for glue to, to take on them. But I think those look pretty darn good. Next up, I got my brake pedals done. I did flat aluminum and then I did semi-gloss on those. I wish that detail was able to be seen by that camera, but it's just not. Those are cool. They have the rings in there. Now, I did them semi-gloss, but I am going to hit them with a, a, a black pastel. I also semi-glossed the radiator and the rear end. Uh, these are airbags. Took me a minute, but those are airbags. And I'm going to I'm gonna do a drill and then run a little wire up and into the trunk. So that uh, I guess that's where they're going to be run from. Uh, let's see here. Steering wheel. I think is sweet. Let me bring that up. Look at how finely detailed that is. And then I wanted to do the blue with the chrome, just keeping in the theme. I did the black beauty ring, the chrome also, instead of blue, and then just the horn in the blue. And that came out good. I'm happy with that. My brakes, even though most of it won't be seen, I did the brake in that um, three to two, three drops of uh, flat aluminum to two drops of the gold. And then uh, for the master cylinder and the cap, and then the sides I just did in the uh, metallic um, gray. I think that looks perfect for that. And that's all you're gonna see when you look underneath it. I am gonna run brake lines to the back. So I wanted to get this detail done. I'll let this dry overnight for sure and then we'll panel line that and I'll do a, a quick shot of how I do the or how the panel line looks and how cool it it reacts to this Tamiya paint so I did that got my starter painted and I just did semi-gloss black and flat aluminum on that we're not going very fancy because I'm still I'm not sure if it's going to fit and if it does fit you're not going to see it that well but i did want to give it a little bit of detail so i'm happy with that my steering column is still wet so i'm going to keep my hand away from it i wanted the blue shifter or the blue turn signal lever and then i will do hit that uh white part with multile chrome uh the multile chrome pen 
to bring that out. My drive shaft is done. My exhaust pipes are done. That will be red for the cherry bombs. But those are done. Springs are done and all that stuff. Ready to go. And then, just to see how far I could go with the multile pen, and I'm going to end with this. I chromed the rear end cover. Check that out. It, it looks like it was dipped, for cripe's sakes. I mean, that came out way better than I expected. So that's going to sit there for um, until I absolutely have to touch it with my fingers. And then I am going to put gloves on for this one. Uh, minimal touch it. I don't want to mess that up. It should dry hard, but I can't believe how nice that multile pen did. My steering linkage. This will get flat aluminum. And I want to thank everybody who subscribed. I The comments and the help I'm getting with comments. Criticism I will take because that's how you learn. So I don't ever not like criticism. So thank you. And for everybody that stayed, I want to show you one more thing, and then I'll let you go, but I think you'll like this. I took these mini LEDs, and I spun them. I spun the either anode or cat, whatever, the silver wire over the copper wire. And these are going to come out of the bottom of the headlights and into the uh, radiator, behind, you know, behind the radiator. I'll run them there run them towards the trunk and in the trunk I'll have this lid to where it'll lift off and I'll have a uh, CR2032 battery in there with a little one of those tea light bases for with an on off switch and I'll wire all that up to here and then the tail lights this is awful small for what I want to do but I'm going to try those ones I showed you before instead of having them this way I'm going to see if I can't turn them upright this way and put them right in here. And that way, those two wires will just drop in. No big deal. I can um, glue the LEDs and then put the lenses over top. So I'll have the, the brake lights and the headlights, and that'll be pretty cool. So for you that stuck around, you'll either see me win or lose on that one. I am Mark. This is uh, Grandpa Mark's Hobbies. Thanks, everybody, for your visits, your watches, everything. Have a great rest of the week, and Happy New Year.